Hi guys, today I'm gonna share to you step by step how to make your video become smooth and steady like this. I'm using micro drone like this 75mm and gyro flow. So I'm gonna share it to you step by step to change your video from sick and noise like this. You can see it's very tacky become smooth and steady and cool especially after you put some music to your video like this this is the video after the gyro flow you can see the difference between before and after using my drone this is gap rcp 16 75 millimeter first we need to take out the memory from video this one from dvr and also we need to take out the memory card from the black box to take the gyro data okay So basically, this one is the external black box that we put outside to record the gyro data. Here, I already put the video file and the gyro data in the one folder. Then after that, we need to run the gyro flow program. I use the older version, version gyro flow. 0 0.30 because somehow the newer version is not working very good for my split deck box like that i already have in my center book okay this is the pop-up screen that will appear on gyro flow 0 0.30 it's still loading actually because my computer is not very fast okay this is the pop-up screen of gyro flow 0 0.30 Select the upper one, it will create new pop up window. Okay, I maximize the window. I will choose the video file that I want to use. Okay, you select the video file and then select the log data, the black box data, the gyro data. Then after that, you need to select your camera preset. Your camera preset can be found in your camera preset folder. Here I use the run cam split 4K. So I choose that one. The video size and the camera type also should be matched to make the good result. Then we move to rotate video. No need to put if your video is already have the correct angle. Just put as is. And the camera FPV I put 20 because that one is my FPV camera angle. The angle between the camera and the black box. The last one is the gyro noise. Just put as is also. Then we can go to another tab. Synchronize data tab. Then we need to put approximate rough gyro offset. It's actually the difference between when your camera start recording and the gyro data start recording. My camera start recording after I plug my battery, but my gyro data will start recording after I arming my quad. 
So I open the video again. I check when the noise become starting. That's the start of the my quad arming. Okay. I put eight because my quad start arming after around eight and nine seconds. For the other box, I just put as is, like you can see in my video. Then we're gonna hit the auto synchronize to make the gyro flow checking and synchronize between the video file and the gyro data. You can open the log file again. You can see. It will calculate between and synchronize between your video and your gyro data. It will take quite some time here. So I'm gonna speed up this video. Okay, the auto synchronous process already finished. The gyro flow 0 0.30 will open new pop up windows that contain chart like this one. The chart actually tell you whether your video data and gyro data synchron or not. The synchron one will appear when the blue line and the yellow line in the same chart like this one. From overall of the chart, we can see almost all of the blue line and the yellow one is in the same line. So we can take the conclusion it most of them are really synchron. Even though very minor of the chart when the yellow one appear above or below. So we can move to the next step, stabilization. Here you can choose what kind of stabilization that you need to use. You can try one of them uh, by yourself. Then we can go to the final part, the export tab. Here you can select the dimension of your output file, whether the same size like your original video or you can put the lower size. You can also choose which part of your video to be rendered and to become your output file. Whether all of them or just need part of your video. Render file will take quite some time so you need to select wisely. Here you can also choose whether your output file will have the audio or not. I actually take off that audio because the original sound will be replaced with music later. We can also choose and arrange the bitrate of the, your video. Higher bitrate will have the better quality of your video. Then we need to choose the output location of your file. Just type whether whatever you, the name you want. Okay, done. Then you can open again the log file. You can see here the render process already starting. You can also see how much time that we need to wait until all of the render process finish. Like I mentioned, because my computer is not very powerful, it takes quite some time 
until all of the video finish rendering. After a while, and I cut the video to speed up the process. You can see here the render process almost done. Okay, the process already done. You can check your result on the folder. See, this is the process that already finished. That's it. I hope this video can be useful for you. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click like to support me to create another video. Okay, bye-bye and have a nice fly.